In this video, I will tell you my interview experience at DE Shaw for macroeconomist role. Hi, this is Ashish Kaurav. I have done my B.Tech from IIT Kharagpur and Masters in Quantitative Economics from Indian Statistical Institute. And after that, I have been working in the field of data science. Now, to tell you briefly about my experience, it was just a one round interview with a very senior person in the DE Shaw macroeconomics team. And that person writes editorials which goes to say that the person was really very senior and knowledgeable. Now, with the background in place, let's understand that how my interview went. The interview started with the basic courtesy and what I do in the job and I explain my projects and then we quickly moved on to the central bank stance. So the question was, what is the central bank stance? How are the central banks responding to the economic situation so how is the u.s fed different how is the u.s fed's interest rate stance different from the rbi's interest rate stance and things like those and obviously when you have some kind of a central bank stance question you will get that bird analogy dervish or hawkish and like Abraham Rajan, even I don't like that dovish and hawkish analogy. I prefer the terms which have more basis on economic fundamentals than animal analogies. So the technical questions were what is instrumental variable, what is simultaneous equation modeling, what happens when you have error in measurements, which means error in variable models. So these are the questions which were asked in depth and definitely these are not easy questions for a beginner in econometrics or even data science or even statistics. So these are the questions which you need to prepare thoroughly. Apart from that, there were also questions on ISLM model. So if you're appearing for a macroeconomist position, you need to have an understanding of ISLM model. And then there was a very simple question on the relationship between the interest rate and the stock market returns. Now, the thing with the interview process was that the understanding was that the person being interviewed, me in this case, knows sufficient macroeconomics and also has experience in macroeconomic analysis. But macroeconomic analysis requires a bit of industry experience or PhD level of research experience, not just theoretical bookish knowledge. So you might have got the drift that the interview process went fair, but I did not cut to the second round and there my D. Shaw's macroeconomist position interview ended. That is how the process of D. Shaw's macroeconomist position stopped.